We're at the wonderful Riverside stable for the ready to race sale and it's very quiet in here now but that all changes really quickly and it will in a couple of months time when the Winks foal enters the ring. Tell me about what the build up's been like for Inglis. Well, it's a special facility, creates a special sense of theatre, special atmosphere and I think that's something that's going to be brought to new heights in April with what is a very unique and special offering in the Piero Daughter of Winks and you know at this juncture you know there's a huge amount of planning that's been done already but we're effectively six months out from the big occasion and the planning keeps progressing the volume of interest in that filly has been nothing short of extraordinary I mean just even to this point the volume of inquiry in that filly or for that filly has been amazing so it's really quite exciting to be part of the whole process to see it build and build and build and this is where the magic will happen. She was a horse of a lifetime in terms of what we saw her do on the racetrack. We don't get to see many of her ability. Her first foal now starts its journey. What does it mean for an auction house like Inglis to be given that opportunity to sell her? I mean, it's fantastic for us because to be able to watch that race filly and recognise how fantastic she was and see what she did for the sport was really, really cool. I mean, some of the best days any of us will have had in a race horse would have been the consequence of that race mare. Just a sense of occasion, just her sheer appetite and aptitude for racing was something to really behold. Uh, it, it's quite cool to then see and follow the trajectory of her firstborn daughter, to be able to recognize some of the similarities between mother and daughter in terms of how she's grown and how she's developed. And then to be able to bring that filly to sale is really quite cool. I mean. It's a huge responsibility. I mean, it's not something we can take for granted. It's an expectation that we would deliver an extraordinary result with this filly, but I think the expectation and the understanding is that we will be able to do that. You mentioned this room, and it is relatively young, but in its infancy, you've already sold some incredible resources, and the English graduates, the role honour speaks for itself. It's where the dream begins, and it's where the dream is going to begin for whoever purchases this fall, what do you think the expectation is going to be like? Certainly from the point of view of a breeder and the importance of the commercial marketplace, this is as close as we can bring to anybody or anybody to the theatre of dreams, so to speak. When on the wall you see celebrations, some of the best horses that have been offered through the auditorium or through English Easter yearling sales, whether it's Sue Gotcha, Home Affairs, Stronger, Classique, Legend, Mazu, like a series of fantastic horses. And I think without a doubt this filly is going to be the highest profile yearling that will ever have been through this ring. One of the most high profile year needs to go through a ring anywhere in the world. And that's a wonderful opportunity for us. I mean, an incredible responsibility as well, one that we're not taking for granted, but it's something that we're all very excited about and hopefully that we can, we can do this filly justice and help bring her to market and show the world what a special horse she is and have the world recognize that. History is about to happen.